Hello there, it's Sev from Three Counties Motorhomes and welcome to the video guide for this style of control panel right here. It's quite commonly found in Camper King Volkswagen campers. As you can see, this one has been branded by them, but it's seen in lots of other vehicles as well. This is a generic control panel. So uh, let's start talking about what we find on the control panel. Now, it's very simple to use. We have three buttons on the right here, three slightly smaller buttons on the left and a sort of... Uh, panel in the middle that has lots of LEDs that can light up and tell us information. Firstly, we typically will turn on and off the vehicle using this top right button here. In this instance, it's labeled as a down lighter, but this is actually the power for the vehicle. It will turn on and off the vehicle. And in this case, it turns off the main lighting circuits. The behavior for you may be slightly different, but typically this will turn on the power to your vehicle uh, by essentially turning on uh, the leisure battery. If you have an awning light fitted, there's a good chance this button here will turn that on and off. Uh, it may be labelled differently. Typically, this is a spare or redundant item, especially in the camper van case here. This button serves absolutely no function. It's a spare. But in a more complicated vehicle, such as a fully blown motorhome, this could actually be either the outside awning light or serve another purpose. And then we have here your uh water pump so this provides power to the water pump in this instance that's very common um, to have the water pump here it's very rare that this button will be something different but in most cases this button will be for the water pump like so then what we have over this side are buttons to check the uh, levels of batteries and water tanks um, particularly. Now, before I talk about those, you will notice on the center here, there is a lit up icon and that is a little symbol of a plug and wire. And that's letting us know that we are plugged into mains electricity and that supply is working. Below that, you can see there are four LED segments and these will light up to show us the battery voltages. Now, we have two symbols here next to these buttons that match the two symbols in the middle of the, the display there. Both of them are pictures of a battery, but one has a flatbed lorry in it and the other has a motorhome body. The flatbed lorry one is your vehicle battery and the motorhome body is your leisure battery. So if I press that button at the top there, the corresponding symbol will illuminate and now we can see the va uh, voltage for that battery lighting up there. So you can see we have uh, two out of the three or three out of the four, whichever way you look at it. The bottom one will light up red. It typically doesn't light up until the battery level is low. And I can do the same with the leisure battery. Now the corresponding symbol lights up and you can see we are nicely uh, uh, full on voltage there. And that's because in this particular instance, we are plugged into mains electricity. And so the mains power battery charger that this particular vehicle has is charging the battery. So that's why we have a bigger voltage for the leisure battery than we do for the vehicle battery. But that's how you check your battery voltages. Then we have one for the water tank. So for the fresh water tank, this one can be used to check the level there on the left-hand side in very much the same way as we would be looking at the battery voltage, but we just look over the left-hand side now. Now, if your vehicle has a waste tank fitted, this one here will illuminate next to the waste tank picture. Um, now, this vehicle doesn't have a waste tank fitted, so it is... Uh, uh, a bit of a redundant thing there. It's not going to light up or do anything in this particular case. But if your vehicle does have a waste tank, then it will illuminate that light there when it needs attention and likely emptying. And then lastly, in the top center, we have a... Um, I don't actually know what the symbol is supposed to be, but it's kind of a almost like a turbine or a uh, just a circle with a letter G in it, essentially. Um, now, this will light up when the engine is running and it's charging your leisure battery, uh, just to indicate that your leisure battery is receiving charge from the main engine. OK, it won't light up when you're plugged into mains electric and that charger is working, as you can quite clearly see, it's not lit up. But when you are driving, that should illuminate to show that your leisure battery is successfully charging from the engine. And that's it. That's the control panel. Like I say, it is a generic panel design. Some of the icons may be slightly different and they may serve slightly different functions. But typically, this is how the panel works in 99% of cases. I'm Sev and uh, I hope this video has been useful. Thank you very much for watching.